At the end of every year, a bunch of companies get acquired, uh, changes happen in the industry, and now again, our industry has had some major changes. I've talked about it in the past, but now some big boys have been bought up. One of them, Tyrac. So let's talk about it. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Talking Mods. On today, uh, we're gonna talk about some industry news and how the industry is changing, how it affects you as a consumer or if you are within the industry. Um, I talked about it this past year where a lot of companies are turning into conglomerates. In the past couple of years, we had some pretty big conglomerates starting to happen in our industry. Uh, bigger and bigger companies are forming and even one company went public. Um, Holly, for example, went public as EMPW. Now, um, a lot of changes are happening and where do I come from? Well, I previously used to say 17 years. Well, it's becoming almost 18 years that I've been in this industry and um, involved in every aspect of it from our manufacturers to the retailers, seeing the pricing change and seeing how this, the landscape continues to change and we continue to influence it. So here at Mod Bargains. And if you are interested in products or we can help you guys in any ways, whether it's wheels, um, suspension, exhaust, whatever it might be, um, feel free to hit us up. Anyway, so um, I started off by saying Tire Rack got purchased. A lot of people are not aware of this because this was a private sale. So Tire Rack is a massive, massive tire company distributor and retailer. A lot of people know them. They're involved in uh, from racing sponsorships to across the board. They are one of the major companies that have been around on the internet um, since the beginning. And they have probably one of the best websites to use. Um, myself as a retailer, I really do admire them. I think they do an amazing job and they've always done an amazing job, especially if you needed OEM spec wheels. Not so much on the enthusiast, but even though they cater toward the enthusiast, you really gotta know your information, but towards the OEM, they do an amazing job. Um, great pricing, great delivery, um, they connect you across. And this is in no way I'm being, being, being paid, but they got purchased by Discount Tire in a private sale. Now, no idea how much the amount is because this was private, but if I was to estimate this, and this is just off the top of my head, I'd say this was well north of $5 billion. Wow. So I'm kind of surprised that Discount Tire had the funds. Now, the reason I'm bringing them up is because other acquisitions started happening as well. I've talked about Holly in the past. Just as the quarter was ending, the fourth quarter was ending at the end of the year, they acquired an additional four companies, spending $56 million. The companies were Arizona Desert Chalks, Bear Brakes, uh, Brothers Trucks, and Rocket Racing Wheels. Honestly, I don't know three of those. I know Bear Brakes, I'm not involved with the other ones, so I don't know them. Why am I talking about this? Why am I going into this? Because of what I see for all of us as consumers and I see how things are changing. So they're acquiring these companies, but what happened? What happened last year with the acquisitions? What happened when the other companies that were purchased by Holly happened? At first, things were looking great. There was a lot of funds available and so forth. But to be honest, and this is again, just being 100% honest and transparent, supply hasn't been there. They haven't been able to meet the demand. The cost for virtually everything is on the rise. Food, gas, rent, utilities, and cars. They haven't changed things for the better. They have the facilities in order to make, you know, carb approved, EPA approved products. But where are the products? Where are the consistent innovations? Where is the products that need to be on the shelf. We haven't seen that. Now you gotta understand there's been shortages across the industry. Prices continue to go up. There's a normal point in which, yes, we're all going, everything's moving up by inflation. And that's, we've seen that across the board, especially tires have been going through the roof. Shipping prices are going up. Um, and I've talked about this, but if you're purchasing something, you really should make those purchases now if you can get it because prices will continue to go up. And I'll give you guys an easy example of this container prices. Pre-pandemic pricing, and this is just pricing that um, we used, was let's say $2,600 to $2,800 for a container. Now that same size container being brought in from overseas is closer to about $28,000. It dropped a little bit recently, it's coming right back up and it's climbing up to the $30,000 range. This is 
crazy. I mean, this is tenfold more expensive. Obviously, that shipping is going to get transferred along the stream of commerce, which is to us as a retailer, we get charged more. And now as we are going to ship out to consumers, we also are incurring more shipping costs from the FedEx, the UPS, and so forth. If you're in the business, I'm sure you've seen the supply chain issues across the board. It doesn't matter what it is. Supply chain issues are affecting everybody and it continues to grow. But as these companies are getting acquired, you would think that, okay, we're going to start seeing more products. They have bigger funds to develop it. But are they just keeping the stock prices looking good by acquiring a bunch of companies that have previous sales? I don't know. That's my opinion on it. I'm just trying to say that I'm noticing that we are not seeing a, a trend towards a positive, which was what I was hoping for in the beginning. We are starting to see that, hey, they're just being acquired in order to you know, raise the, the sales numbers and so forth. But we're not seeing it on the back end where consumers are getting their products. Demand continues to grow at an all-time high because there's no products to deliver. And inflation continues to grow. So um, the reason I brought this whole topic up is when I was talking to a, to a customer today, you know, hey, uh, today's price is this price. We're locking it in. And when it comes in, it could be at a different price. And sure enough, that's what's happened. You know, we're seeing suspension prices jump up 7 to 8% next month. We're seeing tire prices jump another 8%. That's not to say they haven't jumped 18% or 20%. And you see that now when you're selling your aftermarket parts. If you're selling it in the used market and you bought it over you know, two years ago and you're selling it today, you're probably even making a profit, which was unheard of. So times are changing, um, but I think eventually we'll all catch up. I'm just hoping that as t companies get bought up, they're doing better for the greater good of all of us as retailers, not just to try to make the investor numbers. Because at the end of the day, they're still going to have to show profits at the end, right? So be aware of these things that happen as companies get big. Sometimes they just make these purchases to inc make their numbers look big. But the bottom line is they might not be as efficient. So uh, that was just some, some information on what I've seen um, happening. So hey guys, um, one other piece of information. We're hiring here at Mod Bargains. We continue to grow. We're trying to do everything that we can in the right way for you guys. So we are hiring. Uh, we have positions in different areas of the company. Please go to our website in the career section if you are interested. We are happy to um, hire if you are within Southern California. Um, if you're outside of Southern California, um, we will consider it. We will put a resume on file. We'll see if that works out or not. But um, guys, I, if you haven't hit the like or subscribe, please do so. And guys, I will see you on the next Talking Mods.